In this video, we are going to learn all about rotations. Now, a rotation is an example of a transformation. And a transformation is an operation that you can perform on a point, a shape, or any object, really. So rotation is a type of transformation where you rotate an object. Now, in order to be able to perform in a rotation, you need to know three things. You need to know the center of rotation. So that's the point that will remain constant throughout the rotation. You also need to know the degrees of the rotation because that will tell you how much you're actually rotating it. A rotation of 90 degrees is a lot different from a rotation of 180 degrees. Lastly, you need to know the direction, which could be clockwise or counterclockwise. If you know all three of those things, you should be able to perform the rotation. So for example, what if we wanted to rotate this rectangle 90 degrees clockwise about the origin? So we have all three pieces of information we need to know. The center of rotation is the origin. And anytime it says about something, that's the point you're rotating about that will stay constant. The degrees that we're rotating will be 90 degrees. And the direction is clockwise. So because we're rotating about the origin, it means that D and D prime will be in the same place because D is at the origin, so it won't move at all. Everything else will move. We're rotating it this direction, and everything will be rotating 90 degrees, which you can remember 90 degrees is a quarter turn. So that means C will move down to here. C prime will be right here. B prime will be over here. And A prime will be right here. So our new rectangle is exactly the same size as the original, and that's always a property of rotations, that size is maintained. The only difference is that it's in a new location and looks different because it's been rotated. Now, what if instead the problem had said to rotate counterclockwise? Then our resulting image would be different. So if we take our original green rectangle and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, D will still stay in the same place because it's at the origin, the center of rotation. But A will be on the other side of the x-axis right here, so we'll call that A double prime, B double prime will be over here, and C double prime will be over here. So you do have to be careful about all three of these pieces of information to make sure that you're performing the rotation correctly. One thing to keep in mind is that this 90 degree counterclockwise rotation is the same thing as a 270 degree clockwise rotation. And 270 degrees is like three quarter turns. So there's always two ways to sort of get to any rotation, depending on if you go clockwise or counterclockwise. And the clockwise version plus the counterclockwise version will always add up to 360. It's just based on what direction do you wanna go to get where you're trying to go.